Hello. I have been waiting for you. Where were you? Would you believe me if I told you that I generated this lip sync video completely using one AI tool? And not just this video. This video of a man walking in the desert was also created by the same AI. Or this video of a fictional cartoonish character was generated by the same AI. And even videos that seem like from another world or an alien bird like this one. And tons of other videos. Now the tools to generate all of these videos was the same which is Kling AI. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can generate such videos. As well as in this video, we're going to go with text to video, image to video, and also lip sync at the end of the video. And also we'll be comparing the 1.6 model and 1.5 model side by side and generating a couple of videos from both of them. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamriz and we're finally going to test out Kling 1.6. But in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare Kling 1.6 with the older version, which is Kling 1.5. So let's go ahead and start with our first prompt, which is going to be a tracking shot. Now, a few things before I go with the prompt is that you can have Kling for free using their basic $0 per year plan or you can go with the standard, the pro or the premier plan if you want to. I'm using the standard plan which gives you around 660 credits per month and you can even buy extra credits which costs you around $1 per 100 credits. So that's all about the pricing. Now let's jump back and go with the prompt. So the prompt for the first video is going to be a traveler wrapped in a long scarf walks across a sand dune leaving footprints behind. The camera follows from behind, tracking their slow progress as the golden sunlight casts long shadows. So the prompt is quite detailed as you can see and we are going to go with some settings. So if you have any previous experience with Kling, you know about the settings but I'm just going to explain these. So the creativity slider is something if you slide it towards the creativity is going to be more creative in its generation and if you go towards the relevance it's going to accurately follow the prompt and be more relevant to the prompt. But what I like is to leave it at 0.5 which is the middle of both so we get a balanced output. As for the mode I'm going to go with the professional mode you can go with the standard mode as well but professional mode is more like my thing and it generates really good results. As for the duration, for first video, I'm just going to go with 5 seconds and I'm going to keep the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 which is a wide screen just like this one. Now last couple of things is that you can generate multiple videos. You can slide this ahead to get 2 videos per generation or 3 videos or 4 videos. But I'm going to go with 1 video here and we don't have the camera moment feature yet enabled with 1.6 model as you can see here. But we do have a negative prompt which is optional but I like to be very detailed about my videos so I'm just gonna go and add my negative prompt here. So in your negative prompt you're going to mention things that you don't want in your video. So I want to avoid harsh windstorms, crowded scenes or vehicles, also overly dramatic or ominous elements like skeletons or vultures. So I'm just gonna go and click generate here. So there you go, the results are out, but before checking out the results, what I want to do is I want to generate the same output, but with a different model, which is Kling 1.5. So let's just select that. I'm going to leave everything as it is, the negative prompt and the prompt and the settings as well. Let's go and generate. So there you go, we have the result from Kling 1.5 as well as Kling 1.6. So let's go and check out the results. As you can see in Kling 1.6, this is way more realistic and the prompt details are really well kept in the video. As you can see, there is hardly any deformation and we have the sun glaring as well, which is really great. Now 1.5 is good, but I see a bit of deformation when the woman is walking or the person is walking here. As you can see, the deformation in the sand and their feet as well as we don't see any sun. But again, this is the older version and I already predicted that 1.6 is going to be way better. So I'm going to go with 1.6 for this one and let's go and check out a few more videos and compare them with 1.5. So the next prompt that I have on my list is a bird eye view. So a mechanic adjusts the glowing core of a hovering vehicle on the edge of a floating city. So this is more like a futuristic setting with a bird's eye view as well as I have the negative prompt here where I want to avoid stormy skies, damaged or collapsing structures or empty streets as well as exclude overly crowded and messy settings. And as for the rest of the settings, I'm going to leave them as it is. And this time I'm going to generate this for Kling 1.6. So let's go and hit generate here. So both of the results are out. So let's go and check. So as you can see, 
it is a bird's eye view. I don't know how it's setting up that gemstone, but the look is a futuristic city, right? We have a really good quality and the pixels are not that bad. And we have some motion in the background, as you can see there, some cars. So yeah, it is quite detailed. Card the other one, we have the same thing here. The pixels here are not that great. We can see that the pixels are a bit blurry and the output is not that good. So yeah, it is quite good at how it adopted the camera zoom in to the subject. But I think the pixels are a big issue for this one. So I'm just going to go and say 1.6 is still better. Now the next and the last one that I want to test out for both of these models is going to be another panning shot from a jungle so let's go and add that prompt here so the prompt goes like an adventure cuts through thick vines with the machete as sunlight filters through the dense canopy the camera pans from his determined face to the dense undergrowth he's carving through revealing a hidden temple in the distance shrouded in mist so for this one this is a quite detailed scene and i'm gonna go with 10 seconds of duration and this one I want to try in the portrait view because I want to turn this into my TikTok or my YouTube Shorts content later on. So let's go and do that. As for the negative prompt, I'm going to avoid wild animals as well as overly dark or ominous settings and excessive rain as well as no futuristic or modern objects should be there like drones and stuff. So I created this negative prompt very, very carefully. Let's go and generate. It's going to cost us 70 credits if you want to go with professional mode as well as 10 seconds of generation. So I'm going to go with Kling 1.5 here and I'll be doing the same for Kling 1.6. Let's go and generate. So we have both of our videos generating right here. So let's get back to them when we get the results. All right, so the results are out. This is the output from 1.6. And I think this is not that great, but it is following everything. The quality is really good. It is quite realistic. And as you can see, we have the temple at the background. Really cool. Check out the 1.5 results. All right. I don't know how he's cutting the vines, but I like the pan movement and the zoom in into the temple. So I think that is great about 1.5. But again, the cutting movement and how he was handling the machete is really off. So I think 1.6 is still better, but we have more use cases for this one. This was just the text to video and I wanted to compare it with 1.5. But we have image to video as well as lip sync and we're going to test those as well. So for image to video, I have created an image. I'm going to paste in that right here. So this is my image, a character like Lara Croft. I'm going to keep the adventurous prompt as the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings. I want it to be five seconds because I don't want to have a lot of generation here and i am going to keep the negative prompt the same now as for camera movements they are not available in 1.6 as well as the motion brush is not available in 1.6 so we have to wait for that but one more thing that you can do is you if you have an ending image you can add that and right here but for this example i'm just gonna go and go plain let's go and generate it's going to take me around 35 credits and it's going to start generating. So it generates in four minutes. Let's wait. So there you go. We got the results. And as you can see, we get this amazing video out of that image. I personally am happy about this, but I don't see the machete anywhere, which means the prompt relevancy was not that great. But the video quality is quite good. As she brings the torch near to her face, you can see that there is a glow for fire on her face. So this is quite good. I think this is a pass. Now for another image to video, I want to go with one of the examples and see how good it performs. So I'm just going to go and actually generate this. And while this is being generated, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the lip sync and I'm going to try a lip sync as well. So let's say I want to go with this video here. And I want her to say something. So for the text, for the text to speech model is going to be, hello, I have been waiting for you. Where were you? So that's the text. And for the voice, I'm going to choose this melody voice. It is a female's voice. And last but certainly not least, for the speech ratio, I'm going to go with 1x, which is the normal speed. So let's go and actually try to generate this. So there you go. It is already being generated. 
So it's in queue. Let's wait for that. And there you go. We have the results for our image to video generation. And this looks quite good. I mean, it's straight out of some alien movie, but this is really good. So I'm just going to go and keep this. And if you want to download any video that you have generated, you can just hover over to downloads and you can just download with watermark or without watermark. So I'm going to go with without watermark, of course. So let's go and click there. So yeah, I should have the video right there. It's being downloaded. So there you go. We have the results for our lip sync video and let's go and check them out. I have been waiting for you. Where were you? I think this is quite accurate and I really love it. So I'm just going to go and keep it. So let's go and download this. And with that downloaded, I think we have covered everything about Kling AI and its 1.6 new model that just got launched. So we went on and compared 1.6, which is the new model with 1.5, which was the older version, as well as we went on and did some image to video and some lip sync as well. Video generation was really good, but to be very honest, I think... This lip sync was one of the best that I've seen so far and I really love it. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.